O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. This is a cool card, man. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 106, Nasdaq's up 243, SPs are up 40, gold contract down $17.20, trading at 1841 an ounce. You got silver down 36 cents, $21.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude down three bucks, $99.98 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 118.25. The 30 year up a point, a full point plus 22 ticks. Laying out here at 138.20 and King Dollar. King Dollar is a trading up 224 ticks at 103.84. The Euro is at 105. The Yen's at 130.38. And the British Pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you take a look at the SPY. Your price projection on the SPY was 394. We got 394. 394 is out here today. A rejected lower price out here today. Bottom line is that yet yeah, we'll see whether I can yeah, I can get a bounce going, meaning up to like 411. You're at 402 right now. That being said, I'm going to show you something here. We take this. This is the actually. Well, let me go through the Nasdaq first. This is the actual most dangerous place that we're actually in with this bounce, because my take here, the larger take, is that your next stop down here is going to be like in the 377 because what you have is this actually three was 366 right there huh i can do it okay so i talked about the aspect of these abc structures you get a one to one a one to point three eight two one to five oh right so what the problem here is looking at the spy is when we go over to the nasdaq the nasdaq hasn't reached its abc structure on the way down the nasdaq out here today is going to have a lighter volume on the way up. That's how this thing's going to shake out. You're up six dollars. You hit uh, the low today is two ninety six. Well, two eighty one is the A to B equals C to D. And if I found out anything, uh, bottom line is that the Nasdaq leads up, the Nasdaq leads down, and in the overall context, folks, my take is we're not even close to. It's actually blowing my mind <laughs> that you can come down like this and. People are still coming in and think the market's going to snap back. But that's, that's what makes a market. That's the bottom line, okay? Gold. Gold has a problem, too. This is what you have here. We take a look at gold. Gold's trading down 1830 right now. So I'm going to put the volumes on here because this is what happened with gold. So, <coughs> so what happened in the gold market last Wednesday... You went higher on gold. It didn't hold price. That being said, it was in a, an ABC structure down. It never got to the swing point out here with this 1921. And I'm going with the ABC structure down. And the reason I'm going with the ABC structure down is this. And the ABC structure down, folks, is 1788. And the reason has to do with the amount of equities that I actually go through inside of the gold market. And what you're going to see is that there's so many of them that are in an ABC structure on the way down. Um, I just put Royal up. Royal's not one of them. Uh, but you have a lot of them that are in ABC structure down. So my take is that that's going to get fulfilled. More than likely, that is going to be getting fulfilled when the market takes its next leg down. And I suspect what this is going to be all about is when we bring this over to the U.S. dollar, this is going to be... Uh, a move that the markets are not anticipating. And what happens here is this, folks. If, in fact, this dollar breaks and makes that run for 121, what will happen, and you can, you can almost hear 
the the Fed wasn't the Fed. It was Janet Yellen and, and the Fed. OK, they're, they're all getting a little bit nervous right now. And what they're nervous about is the amount of leverage that is out there that they don't know about. And if I've in most times, what ends up happening is this, is that when you have markets that are this dramatic, OK, and the liquidity is drying up. What liquidity drying up means, OK, is the aspect of there's no bids on the market. That's one thing, OK, because you can't sell anything, you can't sell it. This correlation on the dollar, if we get a fast move like that on the dollar, oh, there's going to be dislocations so fast all over the place. Um, I can see that putting more pain in the marketplace. That's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have out here today, you get advanced micros, that, that's up three bucks. You get Apple up three and a half. You get the Nvidia up 970. We have, uh, let's see, oh, poor Peloton. Microsoft's up seven bucks. Uh, PE, Peloton, I think. Let's just look at this for a second because this might be an ABC down out of business. Um, and that would totally make sense because when you think about how many of those machines that we've seen in the trash for, some, for how many years, right? Not, I'm not talking about Peloton machines. I'm talking about every type of, um, you know, uh, exercise machine that you can think about. So, no, no, it's not an ABC down. Okay. You're, you're at uh, $13.15 right now, and they're still losing money hand over fist. Um, they've never made money, you know. This is what's amazing about this company. Uh, this year, so they're going to lose. They lost a dollar seven. They took in nine hundred and sixty-four million and lost a dollar seven. They lost every single year. Yet, the market basically brought that up to sky-high levels. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty wild, man. There's, there's no doubt about it. We go take a let's go over to the S and P's and just see looking at these S and P's what they want to do coming into the close because you've had the S and P's today as high as uh, forty four thousand sixty five. Okay, stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 